It's been about a year and a half since we moved into our house and we're finally getting around to painting the living room. And thank you, Noah, for making that fart noise. It was a little weak though. I'm very disappointed. You're grounded. This is my bro, Oscar. You ready to do some painting? Yes, sir. You can find Oscar at your local Home Depot. He waits out in the parking lot, um, just waiting for jobs. Oscar's actually my brother-in-law. My sister's here too. But yeah, so we're gonna be doing some painting down here. We're gonna do a two-tone. Top's gonna be a light gray, bottom's gonna be a dark gray. Last night, we did all the taping. Um, I installed a surround sound system, and then I went ahead and I goofed up and plugged all these holes. And the house had, the house came with a few holes in the wall over here. I plugged these up myself. Came out pretty good. I'm excited to see how it's all gonna look. This is my very pregnant sister, Diana. <laughs> Oscar's already hard at work. How's that looking, bruh? Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, what is this that I see? That I am filming right here? Isn't that a Mexican butt? You asshole. <laughs> doing? I made the ladder too steep, but I'm doing the trim. <laughs> yeah, the ladder is kind of steep. That's kind of scary, babe. Yeah, I'll adjust it when I get back down. Please do. Got some good progress, babe. Oh, yeah. I'm making my way around. <laughs> I get the last corner piece over here. Then I can start rolling. It's hard to see with the light. There we go. So I'm getting it nice and tight in the ceiling. So I take care of down here. Yeah, we do love this cat more than we love you. We did all the painting last night, and now today what we're gonna do is put the room back together. We're gonna clean this floor. There's a lot of paint marks on the floor. And then move to the next room. Yeah, and no, you're out, no. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to the dump. Oh, I love the color so much. Tony. What is this up here? What the hell is that? I don't know. Oh, it's fixing the problems. It was actually not that bad. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder to, to get the very top of the ceiling, but- It was the, hard work. It was, do you realize we were painting for 12 hours? Oh, really? Straight. That's a long time. I know, my feet are like swollen. What I thought I would have to go all the way like to the top of the other ladder, but I was able to use this one and then use the roller to get to the very top. You did a good job. <laughs> Tape that, babe. Tape that. My arms hurt. Your face is killing me. Hi. But I still love you. news is I finally figured out where the duct work is in the basement and how it relates to my living room. The bad news is this is how I found out. <laughs> That's not good. Oh my gosh, Erica's gonna kill me. Now I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. Came out really great, especially once everything's back in the room. That's when you can tell really how good it is. And then all those little minor mess ups that you might have had while you're painting seem to go away. We have a few of those, but I'm not going to show you. All the, uh, put all the speakers back up, got covers on the wires, made everything as tight as I could to eliminate as much um, like negative space as possible for the eyes to be attracted to. So that was really excited about that. Can't even see any of the holes that had the patch over here. And then Erica wanted to get these like super fancy new lights to go on the side of the TV. And so they come all apart. You have to put all the crystals together yourself. So I did all that, put the new lights in. And then even though I put a nice big hole in my floor, I managed to patch it up quite nicely. And I ran all the wires for the surround sound system. So now everything is nice and hidden. Don't have to worry about anything. And then one of the other things that I did was I put those lights on a dimmer switch so now they're on, I can make them go really bright. Or when we're watching TV at nighttime, I can lower them down a little bit so they don't put a glare on the TV. 
And just in case any of you guys plan on doing any dimmer switches or anything, my friend Mike's an electrician and he actually, he got to the house as I was about to do it and he said whenever you install anything that's like a switch with a dimmer, make sure the power is completely off. I did have it off, but he said if it's not off, you can burn out the switch and those are like $30, $30 so you don't want to do that. But came out pretty good, but really excited. Now we just need to go upstairs and finally finish Eric's closet.